when we talk about excellence we are talking about performance taking actions without supervision we are talking about going the extra mile in your sphere of endeavor a couple of you tailors you don't even have attention to details no details come on with you can't do they, they turn the back of the clothes you so it's like it's like where native doctors are tagging thread together to oppress a man you shoe clothes one shoulder pad is up the other one is down so the person looks like someone that is disfigured by birth you do makeup and someone looks like a ghost from the tomb and then now you have already said uh, uh, you know i'm into cooking because you cooked three cups of rice in your house and they said it's sweet you don't think i can cook for a whole lot of people the labor of a foolish man will react them the labor of the foolish will react every one of them because they know it not the way to the city they know it not the way and they don't want to know they don't want to know you have a lot of things you are doing but you are not even skilled in one a lot of things you are doing but you have not taken mastery of one you are doing tiling that's how you break people's ties everywhere you didn't even take time to learn because greatness must route through patience greatness must route through patience men who through faith and patience obtain the promise every promise of god concerning your life must route through patience joseph's are not made in a day he saw the stars and the moon bowing down he saw 11 stars the moon and the sun bowing down talking about his father and his mother but he had to go through slavery he was in the pit from that place he landed in the slave market from that place in the Potiphar's house, from that place he landed in the prison and spent years in the prison before he could come to the throne. So each of these top points we are necessary for the preparations of Joseph. It was in these top points that God built the character in the valley that would sustain him in the mountain. So each of the steps he went through became the launching pad for the glorious destiny that God had promised. To abort any of these stages would have been to endanger gloriousness that would have manifested. The labor of the foolish man wearied every one of them because they know it not the way. How can you learn wiring for three weeks? Somebody came and met me and said, Daddy, I've learned wiring. Anything now, wire your house just coming i said i prayed for you when you were going for the walk he said up to two months he said no that the three weeks but your grace went with me immediately i came the lord began to open my eyes listen do not joke with this grace moves in the direction of diligence i'm going to show you 1 Corinthians 15 and verse number 10, Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. They hit that to I labor more than all of them. You people are celebrating grace. But grace does not fall on laziness. Grace can only be routed through the direction of the diligent and the excellent. Because we know the same God who said in John chapter 6, gather all the things, see to it that nothing is lost. God cannot release the resources of heaven upon a man that is not diligent. He has no business with someone that has not married excellence. 